depths of hell could have forged a diamond this special. All right, good morning, everyone. Welcome back. So, time right now is about 3.30 a.m. Getting started on my pre-trip. Looking underneath the truck, no fluids. My headlights, hazards are working. All my ID lights are working. Left signal's working. Trailer, I meant right signal uh, on the tractor and trailer's working. My, uh... My indicator light over there is working. I'm not, I forgot what you even call it. It's like the corner light. I got some napkins in my hand from uh, going to Dunkin' yesterday. Pop the hood real quick. Check the oil and stuff like that. Because today it is freezing. Brake can hose appears to be properly mounted and secured. Brake can appears to be properly mounted and secured. Drag link, pitman arm, steering box, hoses. You want to just grab everything, move everything. U bolts, leaf springs, leaf spring hangers all appear to be properly mounted and secured. Hope you guys can see all this. So, you take your napkins. <sighs> yes diesel truck oil is supposed to be black allegedly this truck just had a pm service so yep it's filled to the max definitely filled to the max Oop. gotta get that in there Fuel water separator. Everything appears to be properly mounted and secured. Just double checking everything. Belts, hoses. So belts, no cracks, no frays, no cuts, no shiny spots. No more than, I think three quarter inches of play. There's nothing in my fan. All the suspension components appear to be properly mounted and secured. That's full. The windshield washer fluid. I'm gonna fold up these napkins, go throw these away. How's everybody's morning going? It's cold. Right now it's about 3.30 in the morning. I gotta make my way out to Massachusetts. I woke up at like 2.15. 217 this morning because my kid <clears throat> before I do the inspection on the rest of the truck I'm gonna go start the truck again because I don't know what the temperature is like right now <sighs> this headlamp I think it's energizer headlamp i don't even think i got the greatest batteries in here either but yeah my kid head butted me at like 2 17 in the morning i got a bag of snacks got my lunch in there got some coffee flipboard i uh hooked up my power inverter yesterday because uh that DeWalt one, the USBs don't work on it, so it is 20 degrees out right now. It's 20 degrees out right now. It is cold. Yes. 
So I did my post trip yesterday. Had to fix these straps up a bit. Kick your tires. You know, all my straps, I, re I redid the belly bands yesterday. Uh, my driver, Chris, has a little bit more experience with the diversity of uh, flatbed loads. And he was like, yo, you would, uh, you know, you would help me sleep better knowing that, you know, you did it the way that I know, which he thought or he knows is the better way. So, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and kick these tires. I checked the brakes yesterday when I picked up the trailer, so I know the brakes are still good. Just making sure I don't got no flat. All my lights are working. This is a spread axle uh, flatbed. Uh, these axles are fixed, so there's uh, nothing that I can do to adjust the tandems. So basically, the way Chris showed me, and I'll teach you guys, if you're driving flatbed, basically the belly, the belly wrap goes underneath the product to hold everything together. So they got these big steel cables that are holding all the rebar together, but you want to add your own, you know, especially since you don't have a head, I don't have a headboard. So um, basically I laid these straps on the, on the deck and then once they put the rebar on top i threw it over and then i kind of hooked it together and ratchet strapped it on top but chris was like dude if you you know have them lay the the rebar on top obviously you want to put it where you know you have enough space to get to the strap and basically put it underneath rebar on top throw throw this side over this side over and then you know hook it here ratchet strap it here so you know i never have to crawl up on top of the trailer yesterday i did you know because it was my first time ever doing that all right so everything is looking good I did a tug test yesterday once I uh, picked up the trailer. So yeah, so everything looks good. Even my cab uh, suspension parts, they look good. Oil's good, cooling's good. So we're ready to rock and roll. So uh, I'll see you guys on the road.
so according to Skyview, uh, we got Saturn right there. I'll take a screenshot. There's three uh, objects in the sky right there. According to Skyview. Venus, Saturn, and Mars. Oh, I can see them. Oh, that's sick. Oh, I'm so excited. Got my, my Rugrats tumbler. About to get it cracking. Oh, man, it's so cold out here. I don't know what that guy is doing, um, but I pulled out the lot on public property, so make sure I have to record for you guys. So basically, I already threw over the four, the four-inch straps. I made a mistake and I took the actual straps off um, the the belly wraps. But uh, so what I'm gonna do is show you guys how Chris taught me. So, hook with the hook. And uh, let's see, what do I got over here? This one is the flat hook. This one is the hook hook. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook up my four inch straps first. And then these, what I need to do is just make sure that there's no twists in it. Throw that over so that when I throw that over, this is going to hook to this side. These rails are different from what I'm used to. Hook those. Same thing with this. So I'm just looking for that twist in the line, which I think I could see a twist up there, but I'm not entirely sure. There's a twist somewhere, I just don't know where it's at. So what I'll do is just from experience, I'll just throw that over. Um, this needs to be twisted like so. So that's all right. What I'll do is I'll throw that over because that's going to hook on this side. This is going to buckle on this side. And the same thing with this. So there's a twist in it. There we go. So now what I'm going to do is pull this over here. And I'm going to throw this over like so. Take this, drop that in. Make sure that's hooked like that then i'll come back for the two inch ones uh i already double checked these i don't know this guy's having trouble backing in or i don't know what he's doing all right so i go ahead and take the slack out of these I'm not going to tighten them just yet. I'm 
You hook that on there. See how this got the twist in it. So what I'll do is I'll pull this out. And roll this backwards, just like the cinnamon roll that I taught you guys. I'm gonna make sure you guys can see all of it. What I'll do is I'll just throw that over. Hook this underneath. Roll these up. And after this, I got to go to the tippy tippy top of Massachusetts, which I think that's going to be like another two hour ride. All right. So for those people who don't know how to use a ratchet strap, you can look at this as the mouth. This is the butt. The strap always goes in through the back of the butt out the mouth and then recycled like so sometimes it's easier if you pull all the slack out first the butt always faces the load So as O'Malley, my driver, taught me, uh, the you always want to do the belly bands first, so that way, um, so that way, once you tighten it, it's not gonna go anywhere. So what I'm gonna do is this something um, that I learned on the internet. Basically, you make some ribbons right take it pinch it squeeze it that way that slack ain't going nowhere you always want to make sure that it's engaged on both sides push down while i'm over here make sure that these nice and tight uh this one i believe has the buckle these hooks are in all right so now i'm gonna take this forgot to bring a lighter to fix that the fray because sometimes it makes it really hard so this is what I was talking about. Sometimes it's just easier to take out all the slack first, then feed it through. But take that, pull that through. Like so butt always faces the load, strap always goes back towards the load. Mm. So the hook came out on the other side. I was wondering why I had so much slack. That's why you always got to pay attention. So I'm going to let that loose really quick. Squeeze tight. Let it loose. Uh, I don't know how this happened. So now I got to go fix that. Last one I gotta throw over. Second one I gotta fix the hook. See that? So I'm gonna throw 
that over. And this one I'm gonna fix the hook. A little bit more work doing a flatbed because you gotta make sure everything's secure especially if you don't have a headboard which i don't but let me see so that's that one Stuck on something. Alright, so what I'll do is I'll fix this one first. Get that slack out. See if I have enough space to get the ribbon up there. Yeah, I should. So. Every day's a new learning experience. And if that don't work, I don't feel too comfortable about that. We'll drape that back over. And then I'll teach you the B-Rad way. So my buddy B-Rad used to always say tie up the loose ends. But he had us make ribbons but basically you don't want this flapping in the wind to attract DOT. So you just keep wrapping it around until it can't no more. Hmm. I don't have faith in that. Let's see. And now for the problem child. All right, so since I just threw that over, I'm gonna throw that back over. Instead of climbing up there. I know it may seem like I'm going around the trailer too many times, but gotta make sure that the load is safe. All right. Yeah, look at that, it was stuck. Here. So now, I'll take it out of the hole because to belly wrap it, you want as tight as you can get it. Like so. Then go around to the other side, hook it, crank it, and then come around to this side, crank it. You guys know me with these, I'm a beast, so. So I'll hook that, make sure it's on there nice and good. And pull it, and then crank the four inch, do my log, and be on out of here. Move that to the side.
Okay. Butt always faces the load. See, this is the one I was talking about. I got my lighter. So basically these synthetic fibers, they'll melt together. And you get a nice clean edge on them. All right, so I'll drop that in. Maybe not. all right i hope you guys learned something new today because i definitely did yesterday and uh just gotta tighten these the four inches and then we're good to go do the log stop off at a duncan or something Unlike lumber, steel doesn't give much. You always want to crank those back as much as you can. go nice and tight we're good to go if you know a better way to do do it let me know down below i'll see you guys on the next one later oh yeah buy our merch buy our merch get the new super sapper super hero shirt and uh it's available now let's get it
while I'm getting loaded up. I'm gonna strap down. Looks like I'm almost done. So I'm gonna three strap the first one because I don't have a headboard. But those are only eight footers. So. Yeah, some of these straps are really tight, so. Seems like every place I've been to is like super dirty and not dirty, but like just dusty. First load of lumber, I'm excited. The lumber's pretty easy. Straps weren't so crunchy, you know. All right, but anyway, how's your day going? Let me see if let me see if Papa still got it. -hoo 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 -hoo. Let's go, Papa still got it. Fix this strap really quick. Took six months off. Papa still got it, baby. little slippage no problem no problem pull that tight wait for that wind to die down a little weak a little weak that's okay that's okay We're getting back into the rhythm it feels good to be back I can't get that in out of the straps let's see if papa still got it dang papa still got it Ooh. i gotta get these straps on point i'm right, gonna just go down really quick And loosen these. picture of the damage really quick all right so while he's doing that Gonna strap in these, get the twist out of this strap. I'm excited guys. Time to get back into it. I just don't like these rails. These rails aren't my preferred ones. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
where she's going. And that way. I think he has to push those in though. So I'm not gonna strap those yet. So while he's doing that, I'm gonna secure these. big train cars. That middle one, I'm gonna have to throw that one again. That one didn't quite make it. That's right, I'll worry about that in a second. Yeah. And this, make sure that's like that. Clearly didn't make it over, so I'm gonna toss that one again. And then I just gotta make sure that everything is up to par before I leave on the paperwork. I don't know if he was supposed to scooch those in or I don't I don't remember their stuff on the other side either. Could be. I'm gonna go check to see if there's stuff on the other side, because if there's stuff on the other side, I'm gonna triple strap those because that's going to exceed the weight that the straps can hold. Yeah, yep, definitely. So I'll triple strap those. Grab the bar. These straps are crunchy. See, I don't like these straps because I don't know if they're just frozen or they probably got some moisture in them. That's why they're so stiff. But man, these straps are uh, really stiff, make it hard to throw. I want to say hard, but a little bit more difficult. Like I never left, baby.
know some of you fans like watching me throw the strap because for some reason it's oddly satisfying and the way it like goes over so oh that one i missed hard so i did leave for a little bit Yes, I can. See, this strap is a lot looser. See how this, this strap's starting to twist? Because of wind. my thumb strap is so this strap is so stiff it came back and hit me in the back of the head this new on the show so these two come this way and this one and pull and this way flip it that way and then this one I'm gonna fix it See how the wind blew this one off? It's crazy, right? All right. Ah, dang. So I'm gonna have to re-throw that one. Yeah. <sighs> 
Sorry, I'm just in work mode right now. I'm trying to get back home early to the family. Got stuff to do when I get home. Work never ends. All right, what number strap was that? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six strap, but gotta pull it back. So I count them like that, so I know where the strap falls. That's the one I gotta pull back. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this one right here, pull it back, and then stand off to the side. You can't forget to double check the paperwork before I leave. You know what, just to make sure it goes over, I don't gotta do it again. Roll it back like a cinnamon bun. Pull out a little extra slack. Cause I wanna make sure it's done. And it goes over all the way. I don't want to have to do it again. There we go. See how the wind keeps blowing it? I remember one time I was getting loaded and the wind just kept blowing my straps off. So every time I threw a strap, I had to go back and, and wind it up. You guys can see what I'm seeing. Pull the strap all the way through. something I probably never taught y'all but see how that strap is gonna fall in that hole there take it even if you got to take it completely out the roll it's more work to have to go to the other side and throw it back over than it is for you to just take it off the roll quickly Bend this back a little bit. Make sure it gets through the hole on the other side. I'm gonna just pull through a couple inches, like so, and wind that bad boy back. You wanna wind it back like Will Smith's hand when he smacked Chris Rock, baby. And pull that tight. I'm tired, it's been a while. So used to editing now.
fingertips give up, you gotta use your whole hand. That could be used in more than one context. Adults, if you feel me. <laughs> uh. All right, so I left my bar over here. And then this load is going to Cobbin Free, Rhode Island, I believe. Right now, I'm in a town in Massachusetts I had never heard of. So I do that to knock the dust out because sometimes dust gets in your eye. I told you it's been a while. with the higher hole so you get more cranks per push cranks i mean as many times as that little that though this drops in want to make sure this one is a little extra snug this one is four point something in my eye right now all right cool so now i'm going to confirm what's on the paperwork oh see that strap freaking in so now i gotta loosen it double i might as well just double check the straps while i'm with y'all but i got mad twisting it So right now all the straps look good except this one. And I'm well good. Like I, my uh, my instincts tells me to go help him out with his straps because he like, threw a strap it was like twisting all the way to the other side but I don't get paid for training I don't know should I help him nah I'm gonna just leave it 
right, I'm gonna confirm what's on my paperwork and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you guys smash that like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And look at that. I'm gonna close the door really quick. Take a quick picture. I got the new magnets coming this week. I'm excited. Double check the straps on the other side. Yeah, can't wait. All right, see you guys on the next one. Later. Yeah, sorry guys, that was just my instinct. I had to go over there and help him. I couldn't, couldn't do him dirty. I showed him how to throw straps because he was rolling them forward instead of backwards. And uh, then I showed him the other way I know how. So he was like, oh, normally I climb on top. I'm like, nah, bro, you working too hard. So I showed him the PB blaster and he's like, oh, I got WD-40. I'm like, nah, 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 nah. So yeah, shout out to that guy. You know, he trying. He trying. I gave him a business card, told him to check out the YouTube channel, and that's it. So we're on our way to Coventry, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.